Okay, so today we are going to Home Depot. So I think I'm gonna have this vlog be around maybe like a week or two just because I have to wait for like the other parts of my desk to come in and then on top of that like to like set everything up. So today I'm gonna show you me like refinishing the kitchen countertop that I bought. I thought I would take you guys with me and then show you guys like what I'm buying and like the whole process of me actually finishing the table but I did want to show you of course since this is my channel I'm going to show you my bag of the day so I'm using my Nano Speedy today woohoo and then yeah she's still pretty good great shape great shape and then my mask is obviously I got this mask as a birthday present for my friends it's really hairy right now because my dogs are eating it but I'm going to be using this and then obviously I have to have some hand sanitizer I actually bought this brand new hand sanitizer it's this 100% pure one and then the drink of this morning I've been on this like ice green tea latte kick but I actually made an iced mocha with oat milk this morning so that's what I'm drinking and then in the back of my car I have a bunch of like garbage bags only because I was cleaning out my closet and just my room in general and I had just a lot of excess things like stuffed animals, clothes that I don't wear anymore so I need to find a Goodwill or Salvation Army that's open so I can give it away because like I feel bad like throwing it away you know and I wish it was like Christmas time because a lot of churches take excess items especially like stuffed animals for kids and stuff but obviously because of covid not a lot of places are taking it which is completely understandable but yeah anyways okay enough chit chat let's go inside home depot <laughs> So mind you, I already paid for the kitchen tabletop. Um, I don't remember how much exactly it was, but I'll put it up right here. So that's the starting total. I was watching a lot of videos on it and so a lot of people were saying that the kitchen countertop that you actually buy from Ikea isn't fully finished so for example if I just used it as is like aesthetically it'll still look nice but if for example I put like a hot cup of coffee on it it's gonna add an indentation into the wood so it's not protected enough obviously I'm gonna be doing a lot of work on this desk so I want it to be in as perfect condition as possible so finally with the prices I'm so sorry so I bought four things. So I first bought a paintbrush. This is actually really expensive. This was, I mean, not crazy expensive, but like for a paintbrush, you know what I mean? So the paintbrush is $10.47, but you know how they have like the $2 paintbrushes on the very bottom of Home Depot in their paintbrush section? So I know those ones, like they kind of like furl out and it breaks, it's not good quality. To get like really even stainage, I don't know if that's a word, but they said that you should get a really good paintbrush so it like soaks up the product really well and just gives like a really even coat. So that's why I bought this one. So $10.47. And then I bought two types of oil. So I bought Danish oil and I bought linseed oil. So the Danish oil was $9.38. And then the linseed oil was $8.97. So this was the smallest one they had. I, I had. like I'm literally gonna probably use maybe like a quarter cup of this and then the same with the Danish seed oil. But yeah, so both of these are really good for protecting the wood. They're just supposed to kind of like seal in the wood and it also helps stain it and makes it look like shinier and prettier, so. And lastly, I bought sandpaper. So I bought the 320 grit. So, I mean, if. If you guys don't know, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not like a Bob the Builder or anything, but I do know the higher the number it is, the more fine it is, and the slower the number, the more coarse it is. If I'm wrong, you can correct me. So I got the 320, so it's gonna make the wood, like I'm not gonna be shaving off a lot of the wood, it's just to make the wood like really smooth and soft. So yeah, so that's all I bought. So my final total is $37.38 at Home Depot. <laughs> Get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life You're just my type I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right Your dark hair with those eyes so bright They look into my soul and it sparks my life Can I take you there? Like it was the first time, do you remember? Alrighty, so I just finished doing the first coat and I did it so bad. <laughs> like in the video, he tells you that you're supposed to do like one even like long strip, like don't go back, but 
literally when I would dip it back into the brush and then I would try to like squeeze off the excess on the side of the cup, it would literally just splash on the entire wood slab. So I was kind of just like committed. So it would spill and it probably happened like three or four times. So I don't know how even that's gonna be, but so that's the first coat. And then they say the second coat is to get rid of any like spots that you miss. So I did the top and then I also did the side. Um, but the bottom kind of has little drips, so I think I'm gonna wipe it right now. And I'm literally getting infested with mosquito bites. Like, it's insane. Um, I honestly probably should have worn a long sleeve, but you know, it's kind of too late now. It's just, it's so humid today. But let me show you how pretty it is right now. but there were like a couple bugs here so there's like some flies that kind of dried onto the wood so we're gonna sand it with a 320 sandpaper and then just kind of get rid of like the stickiness I mean it's honestly not sticky it's pretty smooth and then I'm gonna add the boiled linseed oil and I think I'm only just gonna do one coat of that I just if it's not even then I'll do two coats let it dry and then maybe by tonight since I'm starting early it's about like 9 30 or 10 a.m so maybe by tonight it'll be fully dry and i can actually assemble it so let's get started Alrighty, so here's a close-up of what it looks like before so this is with the two coats of danish oil again my camera isn't hd enough for you guys to see it but it is completely dry and it is like really glossy like extremely glossy so let's get started Okay, so quick update. I feel like I messed it up to be honest because the more that I look at the tabletop, it's just kind of, I don't know, there's like these weird gray clumps. I'll try to insert a picture of it. But yeah, so I was watching more sanding videos. So I think I'm going to sand it with 120 grit and then um, do another layer of 220 after that and then do the final linseed oil. But I just want to get rid of like these chunks because I want it to look even. You know what I mean? Get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life You're just my type I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right But you're dark hair because I'm so bright They look into my soul and it sparks my life Can I take you there? Like it was the first time, do you remember? Can I take you there? Do it without like this was forever Can I take you there?
Also, if anyone wants to know, I did the tabletop completely wrong. You can't tell on my camera because my camera's not HD enough, but there's a lot of like blotchy spots. And I really think it's because I didn't do it in even strokes because it would keep spilling. And then I just had to like, I forced myself to like go back and forth, even though you're not supposed to go back and forth, but it's like, I already spilled it. So I couldn't really do anything about it. Me and my dad talked about it. And if the texture of this tabletop bothers me enough, then I'm probably gonna redo it. Just probably sand down the entire thing and just use maybe a polyurethane coating on top and then that's that. So, but we're gonna see. But I was just too excited. I really just wanted to put my desk up together. So yeah, so now let's just set everything up. little plate right here so I got this little uh, wooden plate from a hot spring in Taiwan but you can just get any normal wood plate and then basically what I have on this little plate is my birth date candle um, glasses lens cleaner just because I have so many pairs of glasses and then I also have my favorite lip balm and then these are all my chakra bracelets so they all represent and give off a different type of energy so I just thought it would be good to have on my desk and then I also, of course, have a little slip scrunchie. And then I have this little thing. It's basically kind of like aromatherapy. And then you put it on your temples. And then you could also put it on your throat too. And it kind of helps. And then over here, I have my little succulent that I got as a birthday gift. I named it Pablito because I'm really obsessed with Narcos right now. And then these are all my favorite pens. So I like the more like inky type pens. And then I actually love number two pencils the most over mechanical pencils. I don't know why, there's just something really satisfying about using these types of pencils. And then I also have a pair of hair cutting scissors because I have so many split ends and then they really bother me. So I like to cut them myself. And then this is also a birthday present. Um, my friend from Japan got this for me. It's basically like a seasoning, like it's called like shikimi, right? It's like red pepper flakes, but Japanese style. And I just thought the can was so cute. So I thought it'd be a cute little decorative piece. And then I have my blue light glasses from V, and then my portable or wireless charger with my phone, hand sanitizer, my mic, and then a CBD oil because my traps really hurt sometimes. A acrylic drawer from Muji that used to house my makeup but then I did a huge declutter so I freed up this space and then just some notepads and then this is I decided I'm gonna put like my receipts in here so when I buy something I just put the receipt right there just to have it handy and then this over here is actually a bandana from Griffin's summer collection so I didn't buy it for this purpose but this felt mat actually is kind of rough like the way it glides for my mouse is perfect but my wrist right here kind of like it's just kind of a little too rough for my wrist because like I bruise like a peach so I actually put this here so then when I'm on the computer it just goes like this and then it's perfect because this is really really soft alrighty guys so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed watching me totally not know what I was doing as always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and also don't forget to subscribe because it really helps support my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!